All right. All right. That shit works. <laughs> so, like, <laughs> so, like, um, welcome, everybody, to the first episode of the Wrestle Buds or the, or the Royal Ramble. I don't have, I really don't know what the fuck to call this shit. But, like, um. We'll figure it out. Yeah. I'm Zero, or call me Mal, depending on which channel I put this shit on. And I'm here with, you You can introduce yourself. Alright, I'm uh, one half of the Kevin Ryan show, Ryan. Make it easy. So, yeah, this is Ryan. What is the Kevin and Ryan show, anyways? Um, basically, we're gonna do some backyard wrestling, just for some fun. Uh, we're gonna do some kind of wrestling reviews, just all all around. Just we talk and do everything wrestling, so we don't have a main thing we're doing. Hey, I always went to the backyard wrestling. I used to wrestle back in my um when I was a kid, wrestled in the basement. Then I wrestled outside near near my um townhouse, and yeah. Backer wrestling was fun. Oh, it is fun. Still fun. I know, right? So, so, uh, like on this podcast, we we just talk about wrestling, basically. Anything related to wrestling, that's what we talk about. No matter if it's like real wrestling, leagues, or just whatever we can find. And, yeah, we're... and as you see on the screen, we have we're gonna have some stuff playing in the background. And today, it's Virtual Pro Wrestling Two, one of my favorite wrestling games that I ever played. It came out. Well, let's give you a little history. This game came out, and yeah. fuck, <laughs> I am so <laughs> not organized this shit. It came out January 28th, 2000. So it's a very old game. And for the oh. for the 1064. If you want to play it, download the emulator and just play the fucking game. It's really good. But anyways, enough about virtual pro wrestling. Even though I'm going to simulate some matches and shit by my own calls. So, you won't, so y'all got to at least be entertained by the dumb shit. By the fucking calls. Because I'll be honest with you. Dude, if you ever play any Aki game, and you know they have suicide dives, right? In yeah. Wrestling, right? Like in 2K, suicide dives are OMG moments. Fire Pro Wrestling, yeah, that, suicide yeah. dives happen. Tell me why in Aki games, you throw the person outside the ring, right? He's laying down on the ground. He runs the ropes. Suicide dives. Remind you, the person is laying down. So when he does a suicide dive, he hits the guardrail, and don't hit the person. <laughs> I'm not making this well, up. <laughs> well, I mean, you yeah, well. Like I'm, like I'm dead serious about that. <laughs> All right, so let's get into today's topic, which we might as well copy everyone else with uh, the hot, with what's going on as of late. We'll go right into AEW. So that'll cover everything from John Moxley a little bit to when it founded and everything else. Yeah. So. So. <laughs> I threw it in my Google machine here, and a lot has come up with it. So definitely going to be a lot to talk about this week. Roughly, there's going to be a lot because AEW. They had the double or nothing show, so they've been doing some pretty good stuff lately. Like we, like they had the the yeah, freaking the rumble. <laughs> <laughs> Luchasaurus put everybody in fucking extinction in the Stone Age. Then we had Hangman Page won the rumble. That's tough. So I really thought they would have a singles match with that, honestly. I yeah. was surprised. I was surprised they did that, but I mean, wonder who would have actually won the match, though. I wanted Pac to win that match. I don't know why, because Pac is fantastic. I never liked him. I don't. Why? It, it, 
it, it's not for everyone, but for a lot of well, it seems that some people from the WWE when they leave, or they're just upset with them, they have that kind of ego that thinks like they're the greatest. Like Austin Aries, okay, he's a good wrestler, but for him to act like he should have every belt in existence was a little crazy to me. That's just a little gimmick he has, you know? Yeah, I guess. It, I mean, it, it's the same way with Sasha. I really don't care for Sasha. Really. A lot of people are going to tune out because I don't like Sasha Banks at all. I mean, even though a lot of people are going to tune out of this, they gotta, like, they got to understand that, like... Oh, shit. They got to understand... That's just an opinion. It's not a like. Yeah, yeah. Like, I yeah. mean, if you like Sasha Banks, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna, you know, tell you that you're wrong and stupid. But you just never care for. Her. I mean, she's a good wrestler. You can't lie. Like her, like you might not like yeah. her as a character, but but you gotta respect her craft. Like she could fucking go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. but for people to act like she is the greatest, yeah, I, I can't yeah, see. It. I, I think she. Yeah, I understand that. Like, I mean, I am no professional at all, but to call herself one of the greatest, you, you just can't because there's too many botches that she has shown. And I mean, accidents happen. They're humans. But just... Yeah. So, like, so, like, back into the AEW train, we, maybe they should just go with Double or Nothing as, like, the stepping stone of their... Road to success. Because double or nothing, when I was on when I when I was on the one of my favorite websites of wrestling, cagematch.net, people rated that people rated that motherfucker high as hell. And they call it like the best wrestling show that they ever had. And this is their first. <laughs> so what? like so like, even though it's just their first show, because yeah. I'm on Cage Net, I mean Cage Match, and the and the most popular events of the last four weeks is Double or Nothing. Well, rightfully so. When I watched it live, I mean, when I watched WrestleMania, I hate to admit this, I fell asleep. I think uh, pretty. I I just couldn't watch anymore. I mean, it, it just to me felt. Like, there was no need to watch it. Like, I think I stopped at the uh, Triple H and Batista match. Yeah. And, and since WWE is what I originally based and why I like pro wrestling so much is based from them, I, that's why I give them the opportunities. Just, But uh, I stopped. It, it just, to me, feels... Like, I'm kind of being cheated out of my money, almost, by watching this stuff. I mean, the thing with WWE is, is this... You gotta be honest, like, you still watch, like, you still watch Raw, but you want to shit all over it, because it's just like, damn. But when you watch another promotion... And then, and then you watch a normal Raw episode, you're like, what the fuck is this bullshit? Yeah, but, I mean, I can't really, you know, get on them too much because there's two different things. AEW was based on professional wrestling, and the WWE was based on... Entertainment? Inter entertainment. So, you know, now, there are some points where you can say, yeah... I mean, like, uh, what was it? Either, I think it was a week ago, it took an entire hour for them to get their first match, which was a squash match. Yeah, with... that was stupid. That made me mad. Like, well, it's yeah. a wrestling show. Yeah, like I, like, I understand the entertainment purposes, but for an hour long, imagine having to really pay for your ticket, and you're sitting there, paying front row almost. You're gonna sit front row. And, and you're just... He's just there. But, and... I mean, I don't... 
I don't want to praise AEW too much. It was great. Double or nothing was great. I was on the edge of my seat all night. Yeah. But to call them a great promotion and WWE is going to lose to them right now, it, it to me seems like you can't do that because with WC when WCW was first there, they never said that. It was just a second brand. And I, I think give it I think AEW could be competition, but to say that they are going to lose, you, you just can't completely do that. You really can't. Because, yeah, because I mean, yeah, because you know, because we know about it because we we know about independent wrestling. You know, because WWE marks to kids, kids aren't gonna, you know. I I don't. I mean, ki- kids aren't going to, you know... Understand. Like, yeah, like you go down the street and you see a kid who's wearing, like, an AJ Styles shirt. I-, I mean, I don't think you can ask him a question. Hey, remember him in New Japan? I don't think he's going to know what you're talking about. But... That's why I think it, it just can't win at the moment. I mean... Everybody's gonna praise praise them just because of one good show and like le- like it leaves a first impression. Just like first impressions matter, but yeah. But once, oh, it was a great first impression. It was a great first impression. And like now that I think about it, it reminds me of back when TNA used to always get the the like the like the WWE like the old WWE talent. Like how they did with yeah, Kurt Angle, yeah, yeah. Booker T, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, and they, you know, joined the company. I like if like I don't want AEW to be like that. No, I, I don't think they're gonna do that. I just think that getting John Moxley was a good plan. I think they definitely needed to do that to get more eyes on the product. Which it certainly has. Yeah. So like, once, so like I, so like I feel as though, it, like AEW is gonna be a good, like it's gonna be a good alternative to WWE, even though NXT Takeover did say something like that, saying that we are the alternative of wrestling, but they still under the WWE banner. So I don't think they're yeah. in this. So I don't think them saying that they're like an alternative is a good idea, because I don't believe that. An alternative has to be something from a whole nother IP or a whole other brand. Yeah, it's it's definitely going to be an alternative. But you know, I don't know if a lot of people have talked about this, but a main question that I've been asking is, what are they going to do with New Japan and Ring of Honor and? you know, PWG, are they going to be, like, kind of shaking in their boots right now? Because I don't know if they're doing partnerships or they're going to be, like, their own thing. Like, that that's what I was concerned about. <sighs> I mean, New Japan... They're doing their own thing. That's yeah, New Japan is doing its own thing. But like, one thing I do fear about New Japan is if they're gonna do some dummy stuff because they lost some of their big names like Kenny Omega, the Bucks, and all that stuff. But at the same mm-hmm. time, it's like you don't really need them. And I don't want yeah. them to be depending on them. Cause being dependent on like a wrestler is not a it's not a good thing. No, you should never depend on one specific wrestler. Uh, like at all. I, I think if I think if you depend on that one person that you're you're just kind of setting yourself up for failure because that that's why I think WWE is kind of in the spot they're in 
because they kind of relied on Roman Reigns and they just never built anyone up. And then when they're when they realize that they backed themselves in that corner, they they just don't know what to do and they gotta start building people up from scratch. WWE just needs to take notes, get the fuck, <laughs> and basically try to be original. Because the old man is killing this company and literally burning it to the ground. Yeah, yeah, it's... So it's like, everybody can agree on that. The old man needs to go. I, I hate to say it, because he is what started everything. He started and... old man. Well, not started everything per se, but it was, he kicked pro wrestling off to what it is today. Because let's be honest, I I don't think it would be the same if, you know, he didn't buy out those territories. And that's bringing me to my question for everybody in general. Should territories come back by territory wrestling? Um... You know, I've actually always wanted to see what territories looked like, but I just don't think it would I don't think it would thrive because back then like I mean I don't know how to say it, but I mean it's a lot easier now that you know you can you can drive somewhere Because, like, territories were kind of, like, strictly on here, but it, it's too, I. You don't know how to put it, can you? No, no, <laughs> I, I just don't think it's the right thing to do, because. People want to move. People want to go all over the place. They can't just stay in one Yeah, area. because, yeah, because if, um, we'll, we'll uh, I'll use a, um computer as an example if you've got a computer from 2010 and it is now 2018 and you're still using that 2010 computer you're not going to do the same things that you can now and it's just going to slow down and i think if you stay in the past it's not going to go out it's not going to go good for you because just staying in the past doesn't work it's nice to reminisce and know your past and everything, but I just think if you rely too much on it, it just doesn't work. Yeah. I think that's kind of what Impact's fault was. They relied more on the, you know, Kevin Nash, Scott Hall, Kurt Angle still had wrestling time, so I'm not going to include him, but, you know, some of the older guys, like Hulk Hogan, I mean, he's still a big name, and it was a good idea that they brought him, you know, big name, big, was big it a name. Good idea bring Hogan? <laughs> Well, it, 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 in the sense of they shouldn't have gave him a lot of power, but to, to say Impact says, oh yeah, we have Hulk Hogan, that, that's, a na- that's a name that people will recognize from different generations. Because I, I don't think, it, I mean, if you walk down the street to a non-wrestling fan and go, you know Hulk Hogan? They're most more than likely gonna say yes. That that's just my thing. So, um, let's see. What what's another thing? Because like, I miss the old TNA days, like back in the two thousand nine, oh, I- ten. Or sometimes 10, because that's when I first started from TNA. But now I don't watch it no more. It's just not the same. Yeah. Thing. I, I've heard that Impact's getting better, but... It's getting better. I just, think, but... I just think they ruined it to the point where it's just the... You can't watch it no more. Yeah, and that's what I think, if WWE keeps it the same path, that they're going to be the same way. That they're just going to leave a sour note and it's just not going to pick up like it used to. 
Because WWE, the only good thing about WWE, like, people keep saying the only good thing about WWE is NXT. But what I believe is that NXT, if it has a TV deal, it will be kind of dope. I will watch it. Fuck that show. Yeah, but I think NXT is the reason that um, the network is a little bit more popular than it is. Because, I mean, think about it. If you... I mean, if you took it off, like, you'd keep it on the network, but um, if you got NXT televised, that, I don't know, I, I just think, um, well, I guess for TakeOver you would need it, so that does make sense. I just kind of ruined my own <laughs> point that I was making. It's all good. We all make mistakes. We all human. But like, like, what I wanted to say is, for for like NXT, even though it's good and shit, and Triple H is doing good things with it, it's it's still WWE. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. Like, you can't just single out saying that oh oh NXT the best brand. It's a brand, but it's still WWE. It still doesn't help WWE, like, be better. It's just something just to watch and just to have wrestling and good storytelling. Because I think what they're doing there is more pro wrestling, and the and then WWE is the entertainment side of it. But personally, for my opinion, uh, don't for people listening, don't don't take this too seriously, but I think they should cut a lot of house shows out. They need I to cut house shows. I fucking can't stand people getting uh, injured. <laughs> no, no, no. Now, I think house shows are good. Like, it, it, like if you do some house shows for the people that aren't televised, like, you know, like Sanity. When was the last time you've seen them? If they do house shows, you know that they're still around. And the house shows, they can have fun with it. They can actually wrestle. They can have great matches because it won't be shit because it won't be shown on tv if someone takes a video not too big of a deal i mean how show shouldn't be canon but at the same time no it's not it's not like unless you're talking madison square garden i think is the only time that it could be oh fuck canon. Because you got to remember, Madison Square Garden is a whole different thing than anything else. Because, you know, you know. It's, it's different, but it's just. It, it's different. Different atmosphere. That Like, that's yeah. the house. But what I want is, like, even though I don't really care about house shows, the only reason why I don't want house shows, especially when it comes to, like, if I make a fit. The only house show we might do is if it's, like, off-season. Like, there's nothing else to do. Like, there's no storytelling. But, like, when it comes down to main storytelling and basically, like, trying to build up a pay-per-view and big stars, no house shows for the major stars, at least. Because, like, yeah, what happened, yeah. well, like, what happened with Seth Rollins? Do you want that same well, shit happen again? <laughs> well, I mean... One, you got to see it. It's professional wrestling, so yeah. it, you're gonna get. You could get hurt on, like John Cena with his broken nose. You can get hurt on televised TV. Yeah, but it just most stuff happened in house shows. From 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 like from yeah. my standpoint, like yeah. I, I think I think if um, I think if they use some of like the mid carders and guys that aren't being used, like you, like I mean. I think of someone that I haven't seen in a long time. Hmm. Okay, Sanity again. That's the only thing I can think about right now. But um, put Sanity in house shows. And maybe if, you know, they can wrestle like, I don't know, No Way Jose maybe. Put on a really good match. And if they bring maybe Roman Reigns out, he could do a promo or maybe a short match. So something that goes... This is why you'd want to come because I don't think you're gonna come if one of the star attractions is Eric Ru uh, Eric Young, excuse me, 
um, fighting No Way Jose. But if you say Roman Reigns is coming, you're more than likely to buy a ticket and see. That That's just my sense. But I think if they cut um, house shows out, it'll certainly um, do a lot of good. But I think we should go back on our <laughs> AEW topic. I mean, we could do variety of wrestling because... This morning, I was watching the best of Super Junior Finals, and I, I was trying not to cry at the main event. But <laughs> yeah, I don't want to. I don't want to tell anyone for anyone that hasn't seen it. So you seen it? I I didn't watch it, but I heard what happens, and some people aren't too happy with it from the comments that I saw. But some are, you know. I, I think it was okay. I think it was a good idea. I mean, we could just say it now and, like, we could just put, like, spoiler warning on all that shit. You know? What you think? Yeah, uh, we'll say it real quick. Spoiler alert, so if you don't, skip maybe, I don't know, a minute or so. But, um, last night, or I guess early this morning, wherever you are, um, John Moxley won the IWGP United States Championship from Juice Robinson, which to me is a little weird because they don't, they've never really given Juice a proper run with the title. I don't, I mean, he defended it four times, so this is fifth yeah, time but... and he fucked up and lost. <laughs> but yeah. like, I saw the match, the match was good, it was good, it was different because it's Moxley, so. Yeah, and it. I think that's why it was a big attraction too, because you've seen it like this is the first time that he's free, you know. Yeah. So and, uh, and you you can see like the difference in his uh, mannerisms while he's there. Like you you can see that he cares a lot more about what. He All right, now, I was doing a little bit of research, and why don't we talk about one, of, like, a big thing that, that's definitely going to be huge. AEW, and um, I'm probably going to botch this really hard, but Ukes, I believe is how you say it. Yeah. And I, I think the two of them are supposed to be in a talks with uh, making a wrestling game. Which would actually be really exciting. Wait, I'd they like really to actually see... talking to? Um, they actually talking to them? I think. Yeah, they actually have been talking about it. Which is actually, um, I'm gonna look at the. Um, I'm gonna go look at this post, but yeah, I. I personally think that this will probably be better because they probably wouldn't come out with like a game every year, maybe like every other year, like a year and a half or something. Cause with the two K games, this shit, I fucking can't stand them no more. The only reason why I only play two K is because I want to join the E fed. (laughs) Yeah. It bothers me because like every year I got to out $60 so I can go get the new two. I, I think this year, depending on what's going to happen, like what's adding into it and who the superstars are, I only got 2K19 because of Styles. Uh, But if, like, if I just don't see it worth anything, like they don't bring out any, you know, new stars or like, I, I think Matt Riddle, Keith Lee, and I guess Kushida, maybe, and Ricochet, of course, are all going to be in the game. Hopefully. But I don't I don't know what would be the big draw this time, you know? I mean, what they could do, this is just my opinion, but 
for the new youth game, if it, if it's a real thing. Because, I mean... It, it could be just a hoax and, you know. But, I mean, I think it'd be way too early for them to make a game. Because I don't think there's enough uh, press on it. But... I think if they... I think once they start doing TV deals and they can note and there's enough people that are watching, I think they should more, I think they should definitely make a game. So, cause you know, people are going to buy it. I mean, what's a good game? Um, Fire Pro. Fire Pro, <laughs> they fucking fantastic. Because like, and plus, it's only like twenty dollars, like twenty to thirty-five dollars. I mean, not thirty-five, twenty to like thirty dollars, I think. Depending on what you, depending on like if you want the season pass. But the thing is, between like I compare Fire Pro and Two K, the only reason why I compare them is because Fire Pro. It's simple. It's affordable. It's fun. That's the thing that's missing with 2K, the fun. Yeah, it's just like a simulation. Not really a simulation, but it's more of like a um, kind of bite their tongue, throw the game out, see what it does. Right. Because I I don't see much creativity. I mean, the my player mode was really good. I wanted to try it, but I was like, fuck it, <laughs> I'm not. It was original, I just didn't... I do more of my universe... The universe. I mean, universe mode is alright. I just wish... I use it and put indie stars in it. Yeah. But I just want... But I want, like... People want GM mode, but I feel as though if they want to get GM mode, it's going to be bullshit. Yeah, it's I, 2K, I, so I don't think... Yeah, I think they would half-ass it. I just they don't would. think they'd put creativity into it, which is sad. It's going to be universe mode, but it's going to be not worse, but it's going to be better, but it's just going to be like Smart Number yeah. 2008 or some shit. Yeah. And I wish for, and, and like, what I wish, like, I don't, I might not play 2K20 when it comes out. I might not get it. I don't think I am either. I'm just going to stick with 19. And, I mean, like I said, if they've got something, like, really good that I'm going to want to buy it for, like, let's be honest. I mean, if, for a certain wrestler, I, I wouldn't get it for it. Yeah, I mean, I, I like guess. Matt Riddle, but I, I just don't think it'd be worth it. I just don't see what they could really bring to the table that would be new and refreshing. Uh, like, GM mode's probably the only thing that I could really think of at this moment that could save it, or at least kind of be like, ooh, that's something new. Or at least something fresh. What I wish that they would have got is... Um... Store creator <laughs> from from two K twelve. I mean, that's two K twelve. From like when it first started, Spider Man vs. World two thousand eleven, all the way to fourteen, I think. Store creator, that was fun. I can't remember too much because I didn't buy. I didn't buy eleven. Like I know I had 08, 10... And then I skipped 11, went to 12, and then from 12, I've got from 19. I remember that much. Damn. You, you really haven't played a... Well, you haven't missed 15. 15 was shit. Actually, I did play 15. No, no, no. I played 15. I, I went from... I, I liked it because the NXT thing was new and kind of cool. But they... Wait, you got it for the old gen consoles or, or new gen? No, I didn't get, um, the first new gen console that I got it for was 17? 
I oh. think it was 17. So you no, have, it was so, 16. Oh, so you had 15 for the 360 or PS3? No, 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 I had it for the PS3. Oh, that's why you like it. If you had it for the new gen, they took away a lot of shit. They took away like a lot of creativity in that joint. That pissed me off. Yeah, 15. I mean, like I said, I liked it because that would be the first time that you could honestly, like, you know, you know. I actually think 15 had a decent roster. The roster was fine. The game was smooth. Like, it was smooth. It, 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 I think it was probably one of the last 2K games that was very smooth and very relaxing to play. Because I remember I was making, like, a universe with it. And just... Just now, it just kind of no passion into it. Right. Man, this is why this is why I stick to Fire Pro or like any Aki games. And for those who who look at the screen or still watching the screen, as you can see, you're watching Fire Pro Wrestling World, the best wrestling game that's better than freaking 2K of all time. PC, PS4. Only like twenty five or twenty dollars. I forgot the price. It's it's affordable. It's cheap. It's just no, fun. I, when I got it for the PS4, it was uh forty. What the fuck? <laughs> Maybe because oh, I I now, got this. Uh, I got it a few months ago. Oh, you got, got it for PS4. In, I got it in January. Oh, so that's when the DLC was dropping. Because I got it when it was in beta stage. Oh, or like. I think it was pre-alpha. So are they doing? Yeah, I got it for the PC. It's oh, are they doing? Are they doing like year round? Are they doing it like every year or like every so often? For what? Fire Pro. I think Fire Pro. It's supposed to be a game that has a lifespan. It's not just yearly. Like the game's yeah, not yearly, that, so that's some good. That's why I think if they. I don't know, with WWE, I just don't, like, in, like, since, like, Fire Pro is based on New Japan, not a lot changes. You know, the title reigns last for maybe, like, last one was, like, two years, so not a lot really changes to where you need a game every year, but with WWE, it changes every year, like, the 24-7 title. Oh, fuck you know, <laughs> yeah, it, it's a stupid title. It's a great, it's a semi great design. I hate the design. Like I, I like the um, template with like the circle and then the green strap, but for them to have like no creativity with like anything like making, it, making it look destroyed or anything. If they wanted a twenty four seven title, they could just go to DDT and have the Iron Man titles. <laughs> Actually, you know, in a way, I kind of like it, and they could change the belt to where every time something happens, like some, like you know, since r Truth in by next week, he's probably gonna be on his twenty fifth run, so. But, I mean, our truths making it really good, and I like it, what they're doing with it. It's definitely fun. What I Probably. want from WWE, or, like, from WWE games or anything, like like you said, that you don't really need a game that could go, like, see, like, once a year. Basically, like, doing, like they're doing a Call of Duty shit thing. Every game once a year. Yeah, well, Call of different. Duty doesn't need to be every year. It doesn't, but like, cause people are still playing Black Ops too. Yeah, and like, um, for WWE games and all that, what they I thought about this. This like this was an idea I had, but I don't know if you had the same idea too back in the day. Have one WWE game, just call it WWE Two K. That's basically it, mm. and just do yearly updates, like update the roster. Or or just okay. whatever. Update okay. the menus, I, I just... and they don't have to do anything okay. else. I think if they did that for like, you know, they come out this year and then they and it lasts maybe two years. 
I'll be okay if it lasts an extra year. I just don't want to go out every year and buy the new game. Pay $60 for a fucking game, plus taxes and plus DLC. I don't, I don't get DLCs and I'll pre-order because I'm thinking it's a waste of money because the next, because in the next day, I mean the next year, it, it's going to be no, it's going to be pointless. I haven't played 16 in ever, like since, you know, 17 came out. You know, mm, shit. I feel like with all these different, I forgot which company it was, but there's also supposed to be a hardcore wrestling game coming out probably next year or like 2021. Because I read something about, like, it was on Twitter and, and like, a company wanted to make a house of, I think the company was House of Hardcore game. Really? Yeah. Yeah, but House of Hardcore is not that popular, though. It's I not mean, popular, but it's, just, it's something different. I think, I think, it's pro, like wrestling, I think pro Wrestling Gorilla should do it in anyone. Oh, Pro Wrestling Gorilla game. They only have yeah. two venues. <laughs> you got the you got the high school gym, and you got that um that nice looking um or freaking British or British type venue ballroom. I mean, if they do have that, that's gonna be like an you know, it, that's a good idea for real. a pro wrestling gorilla game. That could be like an all star type game, like because. It's because most of the contracts for a person gorilla is like open. Right? Yeah. So they could just have everybody in the game. All the, like, they have could. all the indie stars. <laughs> it could. Yeah, that, but I think the indies are going to suffer for a while. Yeah. Because everyone signed. Like, you know, I think the biggest names out there for. Indies was, uh, I think Sammy Callahan is one of the few ones that are still out there independent. Well, I don't know. I don't know. How is AEW doing it? Like, are they doing like strict contract? I mean, or I could look it up right now because, um, because like I don't know if they can like you know go wrestle somewhere else. I mean, what, I think, this is just my, I, I, this is just my speculation, my, like, my only speculation that I would do sometimes, but I think, from what I heard, it's like, once the TV deal starts up, then that's when Contra's gonna be a lot more stricter. So, oh, yeah. so like, for right now, it's just open. You can do whatever the fuck you want. But, like, when the TV is... I don't know how that's going to work. But I believe... They won't be hard on you. I think they'll let you still work some other promotions. Because think about it. John Moxley yeah. just won the freaking United States title. And I don't know how his title range is going to be until the, contra- uh, until the TV deal starts. Spoiler alert, by the way. Yeah. Um, yeah, because it's the same way with LA. And I think they were popular back then, and then they lost it, and I think they're now getting back. Hmm. But what sucks is, like, I think Lucha Underground would have been a really great promotion to, like, really be that old. And I don't know what happened. Kind of upsetting because I actually liked Lucha Underground. It was great tour. You you, you, you kind of cut out a bit. Oh, um, I was basically saying like, I wish Lucha Underground, you know, was still around or at least you know more popular because 
their storytelling and wrestling, which is really good. Yeah, they were, it was dope. But they start doing some scummy stuff, and yeah, what exactly happened with that? Because I don't know like details about it. I th- think what happened is like they was messing with the contract, so like they can't like oh, do other yeah. like yeah, other stuff. Like, like they gotta stick to Lucha Underground. They they're basically being like a WWE. Well, actually, no contracts aren't strict there. They just don't want to work extra dates. No, like, Cause like not that. I, I'm talking about oh. like um, you can't work any other show. Well, no. Well, it's gonna be strict now for, but no. Uh, Adam Cole and stuff. They uh, Kyle O'Reilly. They wrestled in uh, progress. I heard. Hey, that's new. <laughs> I never expected so, that from them. <laughs> well, it was one Triple H is like... Oh, it has to be from Triple point? H. <laughs> yeah. Like, doing small... Like, they're working together, so that's understandable. But... I mean, there's some people that no reason to get so strict with them. Like, I mean... Keeping some of, I don't know, I don't know who they could mess around with. Like, I mean, I guess Charlotte would be one of them because you know that they're not going. Like, she's not going anywhere anytime soon. Yeah. Or or Bailey. You know the people that are going to be there for the long run, like Sasha. I wouldn't give. I mean, I wouldn't give her. And it, the people that are questioning if they should be there are definitely not the ones that you want to give that opportunity to for. Like, I'm not trying to be... I'm just saying, in a business standpoint, it would probably be the worst thing to do. But... Damn, how do I put this? But, like, um... I would say, if I was a promoter, if my talent is unhappy, you, you know money's not going to make them happy, right? Yeah, my, yeah. Um, now, some sometimes it is money issues that they just... But, but it's more creative issues. It is more creative issues, yes. But you, they also got to see it. Not everyone can be a champion. Now, what they did with Charlotte... Yeah. That's bullshit. <laughs> A she little should. bit, but at the same time, what did she expect? The Iconics were over. I never really c- cared much for the Boston Hug connection. I'm a Bailey fan, but it just didn't seem... T- because they were doing like a weird angle where they're like, oh, enemy, then friend, enemies. Enemy, then friends, yeah. And just didn't... Oh my gosh, this group chat will not leave us alone. But like... <sighs> creative people, I feel as though if you give a lot of people creative, then they might be interesting. Like, for example, if you let, like, say, um, because some uh, people could be so over if you give them creative control. If, I, 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 I can't think of, like, I can't think of an example, but I know Carl Anderson, Luke Gallows. Yes. They'll be extremely, dope. extremely over. And the thing is, they're just going to get screwed contracts right. to come. Because a lot of people are going to renew it. But I don't think a lot of them are on AEW. I want them back in Japan. That was dope. I mean, I mean, I think if Anderson and Gallows did a few shows with them, I would not be mad. But I mean, like, strict contracts with them. John Moxley was... I think John Moxley was a must-have. Only for the sole reason that if they didn't pick him up, there wouldn't have been a big enough... I don't think there would be a huge reaction, if you will. Like, there would be a reaction, and it'd be great, but now people are going to understand who these guys are now. Because, like, oh, why is Dean Ambrose here? 
oh, like they're going to hear about it and then they're going to search AEW and then they're going to see maybe a match or two of what they do. You know, I was watching a lot of Orange Cassidy matches and a lot of people were like, yeah, I came here after AEW. So that goes to show you how one show is start is starting to make a change for many people because I think they're going to... You cut out? You think... You think it was going to what? I think it's going to bring a lot of fans back. For sure. People just don't like wrestling no more. <laughs> like... Uh, I don't know. I, I think um, for people who did, like dropped out of wrestling, like when Randy Orton and John Cena were huge, for those kind of people, I think they're going to come back. If they know that there's a huge alternative to watch. Because, like, with Impact, they didn't have the sufficient channel, you know, and just... Yeah. But with AEW, uh, you know, you scroll the channel, probably go to some channel, and you'll probably find TNT Network. Guaranteed. But when they were at Spike TV, I think um, I had a... I think... At least, like, my cable provider. You had to pay for it to get it. Hmm. We had it for free. But, like... Uh, what was I going to say? Because I want to... Because when I noticed John Moxley is going to be back in the indies, I, the first thought that came to mind... It, it, like, I this might shock a lot of people... But the first thing that comes to my mind when John Moxley sent that teaser trailer, I thought CZ Dub. He's coming back to CZW just to fuck shit up. But nope. that's what I was thinking he was yeah. doing. But I think he realizes. I mean, I like deathmatch wrestling a little bit, but it's kind of stupid. Kind of... I mean, I all respect to the guys that do it. Yeah, they. It they, is not soldiers. an easy thing, but yeah, I just. I don't know. I'm not too much of a fan of it. Like, if Tournament of Death is coming to Delaware, I will be more than likely to watch it. Like, I'll go and watch the show. I think it is coming to Delaware. I think it is? Okay. I'm going to have to get tickets so I can watch it. Because <laughs> I'm, I'm I'm like it's, it's this month. Because I was on Cage Match. It's this month. Oh. Never mind. Okay. It's going to be in um, New Jersey. Oh, man. Uh, oh, that's where they're... That sucks, though, because I would have liked to go to the Delaware one. Because they always had it in But their main headquarters is in Delaware. No, their main headquarters are in Voorhees, New Jersey. Delaware is just that secondary place they went for Tournament of Death. Hmm. Speaking of death match, have you ever watched BJW? I've seen some clips, and that's just mental. <laughs> no comment about it? <laughs> yeah, it's... DJW, the best promotion I've ever seen in my life. They, they uh, really yeah, I, kill I, don't, each other. I don't want to talk about it. Uh, BJW. I, uh, the first in, I'll be honest with you. The first indie show I've, I've ever seen was CZW. And then all of a sudden, I was so interested in deathmatch wrestling. I saw BJW. I'm like, this is some wacky shit. Yeah. Um. I think one of the first outside promotions that I ever watched was um, New Japan because my friend told me about it. And I mean, New Japan needs to like ever since. I love New Japan. New Japan is like my main promotion. Like I don't watch it a lot, which I that which is a crime to me. But I might watch Dominion because I need to see that. Because I I need to watch Dominion. Yeah, I. My thing is I. I don't got the money right now. Hey, go on some websites. They're going to have it. That's what yeah. I do. <laughs> Jeez. 
I'm calling the police. <laughs> <laughs> we can't have this fake stuff here. No, I'm just kidding. Um, I'm. I mean, once I start my new job, um, I'm definitely gonna look into getting tickets for um, All Out. That's gonna be fun. Did you know All Out, Royal Quest, and the next takeover is gonna be on the same day? Royal Quest? What is that one? That's New Japan's UK show. Oh, 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 oh. I, I didn't hear about that. I'm gonna have to... Really? That's all... <laughs> Wait, which takeover is this for? Oh, that's an all... Oh. Takeover UK. Oh. Oh, in August? Yeah, 31st. It's gonna oh, be all I'm... out. Well, Mortal I was afraid... And takeover. Wait, then what, what are they doing for... Um, take over, um, for slam. That's a, but that's going to be Toronto. Take over Toronto. And that's on like, that's basically the day before SummerSlam. So, and SummerSlam is on. Oh, are they doing that again? Because they uh, switched the dates around for this one. SummerSlam Let's... 2019 is going to be August 11th. So takeover is gonna be the on the tenth. Okay. Oh, they are doing it then. They have to. <laughs> well, no, cause uh, they did takeover on Saturday, and Money in the Bank was last week or two weeks ago. Because that's not a big event. That's not the big four. <laughs> well, they call I think it a big five, but well, I think it should be a big five. I think Money in the Bank has more than enough. I, because Money in the Bank kind of shows who's the new top one, the new top guy, Baron. Yeah. Um, that's that. But it, it kind of is a big event that people go and see. Like if Money in the Bank came near me, I'd get tickets. I I mean I think if it's cheap enough, I'd definitely go. It's definitely one that I would like to see. I mean I don't really. I wanted Money in the Bank to be back in WrestleMania. That's just my opinion. But um, they got okay. their own show. I could vibe with that. Like, I'm used to it now. But... I think having its own show is good. Because it does give, like, another, like... Spotlight. It gives it... To, one, it gives spotlight. And two, it's just kind of like... What, what could you add on? Because they'll probably just make another gimmick show almost. Um, I remember I was watching this video about Saudi Arabia and WWE. I'm woke. It's I, I don't basically, you know, the Saudi Arabia deal, right? Yeah, and yeah, but yeah. What I'm trying to say is basically <laughs> what I learned. Is that there were some companies that did contracts with Saudi Arabia, like the UFC, and the moment that in the moment that killing happened, UFC they cut their ties and lost four hundred million dollars, and WWE didn't well, do shit about it. <laughs> they were in a tough spot because wasn't that like a few like a week or so away? I mean, I think it was, but at the same time, it's like. You don't want to, like, this is my opinion. Like, even though you was in a tough spot, but you got to remember, but you got to know, this is blood money, what you're doing. Yes and no, because, um, I, I can't completely say that, because I think it was, like, two weeks away, but, like, it would have been kind of weird if, like, that day, they're, like, planning, okay, this is how we're going to book the Saudi Arabia show. And then, all of a sudden, they just kind of... All of a sudden, this shit happens. Like, damn. That never happened. I don't know what you're talking about. Kind of thing. Like, I just... 
I mean, I just think, I mean, I think if they did that show and then, and then stopped it, he like they just did the one show just so they didn't take a bunch of long. What they should have done is like, um, you gotta remember you're a business suit. Like, can't I don't know about that stuff. I can't. Get, you cut out. What the fuck? Why the connection? Like, it says voice connected, and it's three bars, but you still keep cutting out. I don't know. I think you were cutting out a while ago, too. But, um... But, I mean... I mean, I'm not a business owner, so I can't completely say what was right or wrong. They are in a tough spot, and that is... You gotta think about it one way or another. Like, now with the UFC, they're probably gonna think twice before like giving UFC an opportunity at getting there and getting a whole lot of money. But I mean I can't really say what was right or wrong. I mean, even though we not businessmen and like we don't know from right from wrong about money, but if you research Saudi Arabia, like I'm not taking jab- jabs at it. Like that's their country, and that and they do their own thing. And I, like, even though I disagree, I'm just like, y'all do y'all. I'm not gonna just convince y'all, because because I'm just one man. I can't do shit. But like, yeah. But like, if you want to not look bad, because WWE, because after all the WWE Saudi Arabia shit, they look so bad, like. Basically, oh, it looked. Ew, it was a hard choice. Yeah, and like, and like from Saudi Arabia and what they stand for and what they do down there, and you would still get take their money. You look like a basically. You look like you agree with everything about them. Yeah. It's like it's like it's like saying. We're going to North Korea and we make a deal with them. Just be like, what? Yeah, yeah, that it is weird. Like that's just my opinion because it's it just like I don't hate WWE. I hate the shit they do, but I don't. Yeah, hate I, I can't hate the company. I just like. I'm just not going. Yeah, exactly. It's like I. It's like it's a lot of things you could do with this company, but they just don't want to do it. Yeah. Like that John Moxley interview with Chris Jericho and um the other podcast talk about creative. Yeah, that's definitely not something they Right. And then having news saying that there's many more superstars that want to go on the podcast and talk about it too. Well, they didn't name them. They didn't name them though, but you just had a feeling. Because I know a lot of people in that company isn't happy. I wouldn't be. But, like, it's weird because Vince, when WCW was around, if they were, if there wasn't a person happy, he'd let him go. Because he doesn't want anyone, he doesn't want an unhappy locker room. Yeah. But, hey, this is Vince's baby. He's controlling things, and we can only complain and bitch and moan. Yeah. You know what I wish for? I wish for a um a one, one promotion that does things right, and we all and we got it, and we got the promotion, but we don't know what's it gonna do. Yeah, we can only speculate and hope. All right, so since we blabbered on 
an hour about this. Um, about random things. Let's um. Let's end it on one, one huge question for the listeners. Um, so you can send your que- questions in. Um, to either him or I. We'll answer them in the next uh, podcast. But I think one huge question, which definitely is going to get a lot of people. All right. Do you think AEW is going to beat them? Damn. <laughs> if not, if now I'm not saying like tomorrow or the next day. I, I'm talking if I'm talking like a long time span. Like, like there's gonna be a word for that to happen. But do you think you know what we'll say in the next ten years? Do you think that they will? Now I'm not saying they'll run them all out of business, but do you think? They will be the better alternative. So that's that's the huge question, listeners. And if you want to hear us talk about um, another topic, please send send uh, what you'd want to listen, what you wanted us to uh, talk about. So uh, I think I think it's good. Anything else you want to add? I mean, I mean, I got one thing in mind that that kind of blew me a little bit, and that's um, I mean, they, like, like we don't talk about it now, yeah. But like, I kind of want to talk about leagues, cause some of these leagues I don't, some of these leagues are just like that's cool. But what about efeds <laughs> or like backyard wrestling leagues? But... Yeah, and um, we can definitely. Uh, so if you want to hear us talk about that, um, that that's I think that'll be one of our. Um, so if you want to hear us talk about that, just let us know. So that'll be one of our options. Yeah, I, I think we'll do. Um... All right, I think our next. I think uh, we'll do three choices, and if you don't like any of those, just you know, let us know. So we'll do e-feds or backyard wrestling. So basically, um, video game uh, companies, like well, not companies, but uh, federations, like leagues, um, backyard wrestling. So stuff like that. We'll talk about our ideas for backyard wrestling and stuff, and our opinions, and. Um, We'll have our second topic will be hmm. We'll do future of WWE and what we think in the upcoming months years do you think they're gonna do what they can do to improve what they're doing. And <sighs> what else? <laughs> Got it. Got a got a third topic you'd you'd want to discuss that you think would be definitely. I mean, hmm. Hmm. I talk about anything because I got a lot of opinions about wrestling and all that stuff because I got so many ideas I want to do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So do I. <laughs> Um, I think our uh, final topic that we that that we can talk about is um you know what we'll talk about Brock Lesnar, Bork Laser, that, that, Brock Lobster, all that the memes, the the Brock yep. box. So those are your three uh, choices. If you don't like, like I said, let us know what you'd want to hear. But we've got e feds. Leagues, backyard wrestling. That's topic one. Topic two. We'll um. Just be in it. <laughs> but yeah, so yeah, we'll talk about that, and then uh, topic three would be Brock Lesnar. All right, that sounds like a deal. So, 
So, All right. So for everybody who listened and stayed with us, for, who stayed with us in like an hour, nine minutes or hour, 10 minutes, y'all the real deals. I don't know which channel. I don't know which channel I'm going to upload this to, but yeah. Got to stick to both of them. And um, as always, again, thanks for listening. Thanks uh, for listening. For to our Russell Buddy slash uh, Royal Ramble. Yeah. We need a new logo. <laughs> but yeah. So like <laughs> thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. And And E Zero. I'm one half of the Kevin Ryan show, Ryan. Zero and, uh, Ryan. And we'll talk to you the next time. Ciao.